What's up, Crypto Legends? The DXY absolutely exploding today. I'm going to share the resistance levels. It looks like that we're not going to stop anytime soon. The stock market S&P 500 on the verge of a potential collapse and Bitcoin having a huge massive pump into this resistance zone and having a major collapse. I'm going to share with you the most important levels. Of course, we did manage to get into that short position here with the Legends Trading community on Bybit, guys. Pay attention because I'm going to explain what is next here for the price of Bitcoin, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. Let's dive in here, guys. The DXY absolutely exploding, not only today, but the last few days. And today, Bitcoin was getting a pump. And I was very surprised to see the DXY absolutely exploding with Bitcoin. This is very rare to see. And obviously, the side effect has happened. Of course, we got Bitcoin getting that major drop. Where can the DXY reverse? Well, we do have here a high volume node, which we're just slightly hitting at this moment. I think it does have a little bit of more upside to potentially test this lower high and then start a small corrective move in the coming days. However, we can see Bitcoin price, the S&P 500 just about breaking through here, this neckline of lower highs. You can see yesterday how we broke down and we testing it as resistance. It does look like that lower is likely for the S&P 500. We're just holding by a thread. It does have a chance, of course, in having a recovery. Let's leave it that way. It does have a chance, but if it starts moving down here between today and tomorrow with some pretty significant volume, then it is likely that we're going to get a leg down at least to 4,100 points. That is the projected move here from this head and shoulder pattern, guys. As you can see, the head to the neckline, we're just beneath that level. We could have that projected move here going to round about the point of control and the target here, which is round about 4,060 points. So I would expect this zone here to be hit potentially in the coming days as the DXY is absolutely ripping. We could get a small corrective move potentially in the coming days as we're going to start hitting this high volume node. These high volume nodes, volume profile, they are respected as resistance as you can see here in the past right there and also right over here getting a pretty decent corrective move. We got one right there. So potentially, yes, we could get a corrective move. However, really bullish on the DXY, which obviously is going to affect the price of the DXY, of the S&P 500, sorry, and Bitcoin. On Bitcoin, we did manage to catch that short. Obviously, that it is on Bybit, guys. Bybit, the number one crypto trading platform. If you are interested in trading, you want to try Bybit because it's super easy to use. You get $30,000 worth of bonus, guys, down below in the link in the description. If you don't want to do KYC, just sign up with an email and a password. You got Bitflex, guys. $10 worth of bonus if you deposit $100. In that short trade, let's do some Bitcoin technical analysis to talk about what are the major levels to pay attention here in the next coming hours and coming days. I want to let you know that this level was clear resistance, was a clear possible swing failure pattern as it was a series of lower highs as you can see right there, and you were hitting the value area high of this trading range of the last month. You can see that blue horizontal line, value area high, liquidity grab. You have three waves here to the upside. You are actually hitting the 1.618 extension. Got someone in the Legends community, DeWalt, shout out to you, saying, hey, we are hitting the 1.618 extension from this wave right there, and this could actually get a pretty decent corrective move from this point hitting value area high, hitting these highs and getting massive rejection here. Beautiful trade, guys. We also talked about a short trading scenario. I'm going to talk about the losses as well. I did get into a small short position from this high, thinking that we could reject, guys. Got stopped out in a minor loss. And obviously, I am sharing my losses here in the community. We share stop losses as well. We have good risk management. I said in the text, hey, we share losses here. Wait till I share the next profitable trade. Of course, that was here, as you can see, much higher percentage, already locked 50%, covering my stop losses, and already today in profit. This is the transparency I want to share with you, okay? Hey, we share the losses with the analysis. If I'm wrong, we cut losses, and then we go to the next one, sharing here the next trading setup, and obviously the rest of the community here 
entering into this epic short position at 26,700. Shout out to you guys here in the Legends community, shorting right over here at this level, which is the value area high of the last month, hitting these lower highs for that SFP and now having this move to the downside. I expect that these lows at $26,000 is going to be claimed potentially in the coming hours, of course, after this huge major drop, DXY exploding. Now your question is, okay, yes, thank you very much. We did, we've seen that. We've seen that profitable trade, okay? Don't come here bragging here because you've got into this short. Share me the levels, where are the next possible opportunities? Well, of course, if you want those daily updates, you wanna join the Legends community, but here on YouTube, we are going to talk about next levels to pay attention here on Bitcoin. So the point of control is massive support. We've seen that bounce the last few days, having this massive run here of $800 to come and reject from this level. Now, this level, very strong resistance, this level, very strong support at the point of control. So let's just zoom in here a little bit and analyze the situation. Are we going to manage to break down these lows? I think there is a high chance that we can break down from here, guys. However, what if we do test the lows right there for a liquidity grab and potentially create here a double bottom structure and then get a rally? I think this is unlikely as the overall structure is more bearish, but it's definitely an opportunity to get into a scalp scenario. If we do wick beneath this low here created a few days ago and create that swing failure pattern, there is definitely a possibility here for a significant rise of a few hundred dollars to take advantage with very good risk management. We know how to get into these trades. It's a failed breakout, stop loss beneath the low. And as you get the rise, we get ready to collect some profits and be defensive, guys. This is how we trade these setups, okay? On the other side, hey, I'm not too sure. This does look very bearish. If we do test these lows, what is the next big major support level? Let me just go here to the weekly chart and explain here that we do have a weekly level. All right, let me just get this over here. Weekly level round about the $25,800 range. I'm gonna to explain to you why this level could be strong support. Zooming out right there, we can see that there is definitely a possibility in hitting here beneath the lows from the 25th of August and trying to break down that weekly level could bounce as support. Not only because it's a weekly, it's also because of the 618 Fibonacci pivot low to that pivot high. We can see the 618, the most respected Fibonacci in trading, is at that weekly level. Could we pierce through and create that failed breakdown from here? It is definitely a possibility, guys. I am looking with the Legends community to form a possible double bottom. Not as we hit this level, we are not going to long here as we go through. We want to see a consolidation, a small double bottom here on the lower time frames potentially to then be patient and then get into the long setup. If we just break through this range, of course, we can maintain some of the short position to take more profits here. That would be over a thousand dollar drop if we were to hit this weekly level zone. And obviously, no longs will be taken. The next level of support here for me would be that value area low of this trading range that we've had for the last month, respecting as resistance. Will we respect it as support here? This is just a matter of time to see in the next coming hours or the next coming days if we were to hit that zone. What kind of reaction? Are we going to form here a massive triangle, as you can see, and we're going to manage to hold this valley area low range and get a bounce? That is the next possible long setup that I am looking here for a swing trade on the lower time frames, yes, we could test these lows, potentially fail to break down from this low over here and create that liquidity grab, just like we did with these highs right over here. Bang, fail to move higher. Are we gonna do the same thing here? It's just a matter of time. We need to see that rejection. If it rejects from here, then obviously we can get into a long position here very quickly to get into that bounce and be very defensive. Not much more to say, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Check out Bybit, guys, the number one crypto trading platform that I use. You got $30,000 worth of bonus. If you want those daily updates, you got the Legends community, some people here absolutely crushing it with this short position provided here today. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.